It's unlike the Forte, when you bring the audio back, it still retains the nicer qualities of the higher end piece of equipment that you know I have here. So I can kind of feel in some way that I'm taking the studio with me when I go. I'm here with Sound on Sound at Music Messer with uh, Mike from PMC, a UK speaker manufacturer with a very high reputation indeed. Uh, they've added a new speaker to the 2-2 line. Can you tell us a bit about that, Mike? Yeah, sure will. Uh, 228 is top of the new 22 series and has actually some very interesting features, as they all do. Uh, what makes this quite unique is the ability to play them horizontally and vertically. Uh, that's the reason why we actually have the HF unit in this corner here, the acoustic center and the dispersion of the, of the drive units gives you the opportunity to mount them both vertically and horizontally, which is was a request from a lot of our clients with the older models. So that's how you can put it on the meter bridge of a console, right? Yeah, absolutely, and you can still benefit. So what you would do is, this would actually be in the vertical position, your right-hand speaker, so the HF unit's in the middle, and if you turn it to horizontal, it actually is your left-hand speaker. Excellent, and so it's got the same transmission line technology that you have in all your other speakers? Absolutely, PMC is different to nearly all other manufacturers out there with our ATL, Advanced Transmission Line. This is uh, the ability to use the air in the cabinet itself to our advantage. So you have a chamber uh, inside the cabinet, and as the base unit moves in, it actually uses the air um, to not only add base extension, but it lowers the coloration, which is quite an important factor. So the mid-range is much clearer, the HF unit is also clearer as well, because the distortion in the base is much, much lower. Great. And um, so I'm just seeing a few of these little sort of rubbery rings on the top here. What are these yeah. all about? Okay. So the design of the product allows you to mount it um, horizontally and vertically. And we thought what a good idea to actually have some decoupling units on the cabinet itself. So these are decups. Uh, decups. Yep. And we actually put them on all parts so you can mount them on the bridge without any other method should you not need to. Fantastic. And um, how much is this going to cost and when will it be shipping? Okay, this will be around £5,500 excluding uh, taxes. Uh, we're looking to ship uh, summer. So June, July we'll be, be sending them out. Um, the other quick feature is fully, fully active with DSP. So right, okay. 50 watt amplifier on the HF unit, 150 watts on the base unit with tilt facilities, roll-off facilities if you're using a 0.1 channel, um, RCA input, analog XLR, and also a digital AES3 input as well. Excellent. So we've thought of quite a lot of the, the functions that would be really useful for this kind of product and, and quite a lot of the users out there. So if you're working in completely the, the digital domain, then you can take that straight out into your speaker? Absolutely. This uses very, very high quality D2A conversion in it. Um, and you can actually go straight in digitally. You, you then link in to your other monitor, and you can have up to 12 of these speakers all on the same link. You can control them with a, a remote control, set them up. So if they're in a position where you don't have access to this menu system, then um, you actually have that facility to hand at the desk with the remote control. Excellent. Well, so, uh, thanks for taking us through that. No problem. That's very comprehensive. Thank, Thank you very you. much. No problem. Thank you.